something I don't cover a whole lot on this channel is getting the film look. And I'm not talking about Hollywood films, I'm actually talking about these little things. What the first travel filmmakers used to film on. And in specific, we're gonna be talking about light leaks with these cameras. Now, what are light leaks? Light leaks occur when filming with actual film stock and this little case right here that actually stored the film, when you would close it, if it didn't close all the way, or if there were holes coming through, it would prematurely expose the footage, therefore giving you a light leak. Now, this is something that these filmmakers didn't appreciate back in the day because they wanted a really nice pristine image, thus getting rid of the light leaks altogether. Now, light leaks are pretty easy to apply with almost any editing program that allows blending, and you can find light leaks all over the internet. Let's go ahead and hop into Premiere, and I'll show you the different things that you can do with light leaks inside of Premiere Pro. All right, so we're now inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage here on my timeline from my recently released short film, Sunday Drive, which you can find here on YouTube. And I feel like this footage is most appropriate to test out these light leaks. Now with the light leaks, you can find light leaks all over the internet, as I stated before. A lot of people release them. I released my own pack recently. You can find it linked in the description below with the 20% off coupon code. So make sure to check those out. And I've got 4K and HD. I'm gonna be pulling from the HD light leaks since this is an HD timeline. So there's 11 different light light leaks in this pack here, ranging in length from very short, short, long. I've even got a different color for like blue or something like that, but I'm gonna be using light leak one because I feel like this closely matches the lighting in this image. So I'm gonna bring just the video only over my clip that I wanna apply it to, and with it selected, go up to effect controls, under opacity, we're gonna change this blending mode from normal to screen. So this will just give us a basic overlay effect. As we can see, this is pretty nice. This is something I would actually go with as is, but of course you can change this and tailor it to your own footage, which I do recommend doing so you can get the stylized look that you're going for. For example, I could take the opacity down to 50 if I wanted a more subtle light leak coming through. I can even play around with the blending mode. Now I do recommend just kind of sticking to this column because this is gonna play more to your highlights and shadows. Like Lighten, for example, is more so gonna be prominent in the shadows as we see here in the console. But make sure to play around with this to get the effect that you want out of your light leaks. And that's as easy as it is to get the light leak look without having to use one of these things. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to check out some of my other videos for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one, and make sure to subscribe with post notifications on. Till next time, guys, we'll see you later.